Hey there, you amazing people out there, and welcome to this new video. My name is of course Felix, I'm a second year medical student studying here in Germany. And today we're discussing the top five things international students should know before applying for med school in Germany. One of the most important things to keep in mind is the language requirements. As medicine is, with a few exceptions, only taught in German, most universities will require you to have at least a C1 level German, although some may accept your application with a B2 level, I won't bet on that. Make sure to check your specific language requirements at your desired university, as this may vary. It's always best to be proficient in both languages, just to make your life easier. The second thing is entry criteria. The entry criteria for med schools in Germany can be quite rigorous and it's important to meet the requirements of course to be considered. In addition to language proficiency, most schools require you to have certain grades in certain subjects such as biology, chemistry, physics, may need you to sit specific entrance examinations and of course have a valid university entry diploma such as A-levels or Abitur. If you don't meet those requirements yet, you should definitely check out this video of mine where I talk about student colleague and how you can enroll at German universities without having Abitur or A-levels. Some med schools may require you to sit a specific entrance examination, either the test for medical studies, TMS, or something in-house. If you're interested in those schools, be sure to prepare well in advance. 3. Study-related expenses while tuition, generally speaking, is free in Germany for both domestic and international students, there are still some other study-related expenses to consider. These can include health insurance, housing, textbook and other materials. And of course, don't forget the semester fee, which every student enrolled at the German university has to pay. Make sure to research the cost of living in the cities you are considering and plan accordingly. If you want me to go more in depth about how to finance studying in medicine in Germany, you should definitely like this video and I'll make it happen. 4. Internship requirements. In Germany, medical students are required to have compulsory internships before graduating. It's most important to research the requirements for those because they can differ from state to state. There is a compulsory hospital internship demanded before graduating your fourth semester. And after the second year, there are compulsory formulaturen in very different subjects of medicine for you to spend a lot of time in. Keep in mind that those internships can be very time consuming and exhausting, so be prepared to dedicate a significant amount of time and energy towards them. Five. Residency requirements. If you are planning to do a very specific residency training program after graduating a German med school, do some research whether your residency program is available in Germany. We here, for example, do not have a specific residency program for emergency medicine. We do an emergency related subject residency, such as emergency surgeon, and then do a two weeks training program to be an emergency physician. However, with your German medical degree, you are free to go to any other European country and many countries outside of the EU to practice medicine and go into a specialty program of your liking. So studying medicine in Germany can be a great opportunity for international students. Make sure to research language requirements, entry criteria, study related expenses, internship and residency requirements before making your decision. But I'm sure that each and every one of you will find something here that fits his or her wants. Thanks for standing me. Until next time.